Thank you very much. Thank you very much. From Senator Markey, and this I want to just say, Senator Markey has been an outstanding supporter for our movement and for human rights. We are very lucky to have him in as as our senator. I just want to say that working with him, he is amazing. So here's a statement for March 10th, 2024. Dear members of the Massachusetts Tibetan community, I thank you for being here today to commemorate the 65th anniversary of the 1959 Tibetan uprising. As we honor the more than 1.2 million Tibetans who have lost their lives as a result of the oppressive policies that were put in place by the government of China. Today, we also celebrate the strength of the Tibetan diaspora that has continued to promote the justice, respect, and human dignity that the Tibetan people deserve. The United States is proud to support the Tibetan people and their right to carry on their culture, religion, language, and all aspects of daily life that comprise the Tibetan identity. The United States has firmly held that the path to lasting peace for the region is a continuous, substantive dialogue without preconditions. This policy was enshrined in the, in the 2002 Tibet Policy Act and reaffirmed in the Tibetan Support and Policy Act of 2020 as a, me a measure that I was proud to co-sponsor. Today, the Tibetan people continue to face repression, threats, and human rights abuses perpetrated by the Chinese government, both in Tibet and around the world. The Tibetan Buddhist community has a right to address religious matters, including the successions of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Lama, without any interference. Furthermore, I am alarmed by the attempts to systematically erase Tibetan cultural, religious, and linguistic identity through the use of boarding schools in Tibet, where children as young as four are separated from their parents and subjected to coercive curriculum. Not only is this contrary to international human rights standards, but it is also reprehensible to all who value harmony and understanding among people of diverse religious and cultural backgrounds. I'm equally troubled by reports of mass arrests of Tibetans protesting against the proposed construction of a dam in Durge region. The proposed plans threaten the displacement of the surrounding Tibetan communities and the destruction of long recognized Tibetan monasteries. The Chinese government must respect the rights of Tibetans in the Durge region as they voice their concerns against a project that will have adverse impacts on their communities. I was truly honored to have met His Holiness the Dalai Lama during my 2008 visit to India. His devotion and courage in defending the rights of the Tibetan people serves as a deep inspiration to all of us who care about the rights, dignity, and freedom of all human beings. Until these universal principles are afforded to all Tibetans, it is our duty to firmly and steadfastly call out the continued repression against the Tibetan people I'm proud to have supported the brave people of Tibet for more than 40 years in Congress, and I will stand alongside you in the challenges to come. To the Tibetan Association of Boston, I thank you for your unwavering commitment to the rights of the Tibetan people and the rights of all of those who are oppressed because of their identity. Your service in keeping a threatened culture alive helps make the world a better place. Thank you all for all you do. Senator Edward J. Markey. Oh, thank you, Harvard. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Uh, Senator Congressman
Continuar.